Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Faith and today I'm going to be taking you through a grounding vinyasa yoga sequence. This is going to incorporate a lot of balance, a lot of standing grounding postures, really great to help you feel more stable in your body and in your practice. This is going to be a infinity yoga flow, meaning we'll move right from one side into the next. So we'll be moving pretty quickly, pretty continuously, just to give you the opportunity to ground into your body, feel into the movements, and just find your flow. So this is a great practice to do when you're feeling a little stressed, a little overwhelmed, and you just wanna get some movement in and release tension out of your body. I don't require any props for this practice, but of course, if you'd like to use blocks, feel free to have those ready. Those could be really useful if you need them. Otherwise, all you'll need is yourself and your yoga mat. So when you're ready, meet me on the mat and let's begin. Let's begin lying down on our backs in a Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined butterfly. So come to lie on your back, soles of the feet together, allow your knees to fall open. And once you've settled in, just place one hand on the low belly and the other on your heart. You can close your eyes at this time or just soften your gaze and just start to feel your body connected to the floor. Noticing the points of contact, allowing any tension to melt away, allowing Mother Earth to support you, to ground you And then let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. And again, deep breath in. Long breath out. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Continue to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Allowing each exhale to soften and relax your physical body. Maintaining this slow and steady rhythm of breath as we move throughout our practice. And let's take one more deep breath in and a long breath out, let it go. Gently blink the eyes open, reach your arms up and overhead, take a full breath in. As you exhale, draw the knees together, release your arms by your side. Good, inhale, reach the arms up, open the knees. And exhale, knees together, arms by your side. Taking a few more rounds here on your own. Just starting to warm up the hips, the shoulders. And on your next exhale, hug the knees in towards your chest and just rock side to side. Massaging out the lower back. And 
Gently come back through center. Extend the left leg long. Take your right arm out to the side. Breathe in. Exhale to twist. Right knee comes over to the left. Press your right shoulder down, feeling the stretch in your lower back. Breathe in. And breathe out. Gently come back through center and switch sides. Extend the right leg long, hug your left knee in towards your chest. Take your left arm out to the side, breathe in. And twist as you breathe out, left knee comes over to the right. Breathing space into the lower back, the left shoulder. and then come back through center. Hug both knees in towards your chest. Bring your hands behind your knees and then rock yourself up to a Navasana boat pose. So shins parallel to the mat, ground down through your sitting bones as you lengthen through the spine. If you want additional support, you can bring your fingertips behind you or you can reach the arms forward with the palms face up. So engaging through your core, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take a full breath in. And exhale out. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, cross the ankles. Plant the hands for your tabletop pose. Wrists in line with shoulders, knees in line with the hips. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze for cow pose. And exhale into cat, round through the spine, draw your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, cat, round through the spine. So taking a few more rounds on your own. Just starting to move with the breath. Warming up the spine. And feel free to add any other movement that feels good. You can shift the hips forward and back. Maybe draw some circles with your torso. Whatever feels good here. And then we'll meet back in a neutral tabletop. Step both of your feet back to a high plank. So shoulders in line with the wrists, press down through the palms, pull your chest into your upper back and engage your core. Take a full breath in and exhale out. Good, next inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet into the mat. As you inhale, press into the hands, lift the heart for cobra and exhale to release. Press your hips back towards your heels for child's pose. Resting your forehead on the mat. Take a full breath in. And a long breath out, let it go. Good, inhale, come back to your tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. So lifting your tailbone up towards the sky. Think about pressing your heels down towards the mat. Option to add a little bit of movement into the legs, bending one knee and then bending the other. So again, just using this as an opportunity to find what feels good for you. Letting go of any tension in the backs of the legs. And then come back to a neutral downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, walk your feet to the top of the mat, meeting in a forward fold. Bring your big toes to touch as you fold over the legs. Option to keep the knees bent here if you're feeling any restriction in the hamstrings. As you inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands to your shins, find a flat back. 
And then exhale, fold over the legs. Two more times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Slowly roll yourself up to standing for three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Moving through our sun A. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Take your first chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, two steps to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, root to rise, arms to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Good, one more time. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Moving into our main sequence, bend your knees, reach your arms to the sky for Utkatasana chair pose. Ground down through your heels, squeeze the inner thighs together and engage your core. Take a full breath in and exhale, sink into the hips. One more inhale. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, squeeze your shoulder blades together to lift your chest. Ground down through your right foot. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, left knee to chest, arms to the sky. And exhale, warrior three. Sweep the left leg back, arms reach back. So hinging the torso forward, keep the hips square and engage your core. Breathe in. And breathe out. Start to bend your right knee. Step the left toes all the way back. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky for high lunge. Exhale, open warrior two. Spin the back heel down. Extend your arms to the side. Take a moment to adjust your stance. Deep bend in that right knee. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, now interlace your fingers behind your back. Straighten your right leg. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, side lunge to the left as you dive your chest forward. So reaching your hands up towards the sky, relax the crown of your head down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release your fingertips to the mat. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, runner's lunge at the back of your mat. Bending into the left knee, square off the hips. High crescent lunge, reach the arms up and overhead. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, twist over to the left. Hook your right elbow around your left thigh. Press the palms together as you twist your torso to the left. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your gaze down towards the floor, anchor through your left foot and then step your right foot to meet your left for your twisted chair. Knees and feet together, sink into the hips. Breathe in and breathe out. 
Inhale, reach your arms to the sky for chair pose. And stay for the breath out. Moving right into the second side, take another inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Root down through your left foot. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, right knee to chest. Exhale, warrior three. Sweep the right leg back, arms reach back. So hinge the torso forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together to lift your chest. Breathe in. And breathe out. Start to bend your left knee. Step the right foot all the way back. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, open, warrior two. Spin the back heel down, arms go wide. Keep a deep bend in that left knee. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, interlace your fingers behind your back. Straighten your left leg. Inhale to open through the chest. Exhale, side lunge to your right. Dive the chest forward, reach your hands to the sky. So squeezing the shoulder blades together as you relax the crown of your head down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release your fingertips to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, runner's lunge at the top of the mat. Square off the hips, bend into your right knee. Inhale, high crescent lunge, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, twist over to the right. Hook your left elbow around your right thigh. So pressing the palms together, draw the right shoulder back. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring your gaze down towards the floor. Step your left foot to meet your right for your twisted chair. Knees and feet together, sink into the hips. Take another inhale. And exhale to twist. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. And stay for the breath out. Moving through that sequence two more times, Picking up the pace, so take another inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms back. One-legged Tadasana, pull left knee to chest, breathe in. Warrior three as you breathe out. Start to bend your right knee, step the left toes all the way back. High crescent lunge, reach the arms to the sky, breathe in. Warrior two as you breathe out. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Straighten your right leg, breathe in. Exhale, side lunge to the left, dive the chest forward. Release your fingertips to the mat, find a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, runner's lunge at the back of your mat. High crescent lunge, reach the arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist over to the left. Start to anchor into that left foot. Step your right foot to meet your left for your twisted chair. Take a full breath in. Twist deeper as you breathe out. Next inhale, reach your arms to the sky and stay for the breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, reach the arms back. One-legged Tadasana, pull the right knee in towards the chest, breathe in. Warrior three as you breathe out. Bend your left knee, step the right toes all the way back. High crescent lunge, reach your arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, open, warrior two. Interlace your fingers behind your back, straighten your left leg, breathe in. Exhale, side lunge to the right, dive the chest forward. Release your fingertips to the mat, find a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, runner's lunge at the top of the mat. High crescent lunge, reach the arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist over to the right. Ground down through your right foot, step your left foot to meet your right for your twisted chair. 
breathe in. Twist deeper as you breathe out. Next, inhale, chair pose. Reach your arms to the sky and stay for the breath out. One more time on each side. Take another inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms back. One-legged Tadasana, left knee to chest. Breathe in. Warrior three as you breathe out. Bend your right knee, step the left foot back. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, open, warrior two. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Straighten the right leg, breathe in. Exhale, side lunge to the left. Release your fingertips to the mat. Find a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, runner's lunge at the back of your mat. High crescent lunge, reach your arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist over to the left. Step your right foot to meet your left for your twisted chair. Take a big breath in. Twist deeper as you breathe out. Inhale, chair pose, arms to the sky. And stay for the breath out. Take one more inhale. Exhale, reach the arms back. One-legged Tadasana, right knee to chest. Breathe in. Exhale, warrior three. Bend your left knee, step the right foot all the way back. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, open, warrior two. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Straighten your left leg, breathe in. Exhale, side lunge to the right, dive the chest forward. Release your fingertips to the mat, find a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, runner's lunge at the top of the mat. High crescent lunge, reach your arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist over to the right. Step your left foot to meet your right for your twisted chair. Take a big breath in and exhale to twist. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky for chair pose and stay for the breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms back. This time, interlace your fingers behind your back and then fold over the legs. So allowing the hands to fall up and over, relax the crown of your head down. Feeling a nice stretch in the front side of the shoulders, in the backs of the legs. And then release your fingertips to the mat. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, come all the way to a seat. Scoot the hips back a little bit here. Extend your right leg out in front of you. Bring the sole of your left foot to the inside of your right leg. As you inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And exhale to fold. So folding over your right leg. Think about lifting your tailbone up as you reach the crown of your head forward. Breathing space into the right hamstring, the calf. And then lift your chest all the way up. Bring your left hand behind you, reach your right arm to the sky, breathe in. As you exhale, push out of the left hand, lift your hips as you reach the right arm back. So pressing your hips to the sky, open through the chest. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more inhale. As you exhale, set the hips all the way down, come back to your seat. Extend your left leg out in front of you. 
Bring the sole of your right foot to the inside of your left leg. As you inhale, reach the arms up and overhead and exhale to fold. Relaxing the forehead down, feeling the stretch in the back of the left leg. And then lift your chest back up. Bring your right hand behind you. Reach your left arm to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, lift your hips. Reach the left arm back. So pressing your hips to the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades together to open the chest. Breathe in. And breathe out. Set the hips all the way down, come back to your seat, and then extend the right leg out in front of you for our seated forward fold. Flex through your feet, reach your arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, hinge forward at the hips, come into your forward fold. So allowing the upper body to hang heavy, you can reach your hands for your shins, ankles, or your feet. Noticing the stretch in the backs of the legs, the lower back. Breathe in. And breathe out. A couple more deep breaths here to pause. Allowing each exhalation to bring you deeper into this stretch. Letting go of any tension in your shoulders, your neck, softening the facial muscles. And then on your next inhale, find a halfway lift in the spine. And then exhale, see if you can fold a little bit deeper, going as far as you can go. And then lift your chest all the way up. Reach the arms forward and then slowly lower onto your back one vertebra at a time. Allowing your feet to fall open. You can rest your arms wherever they feel most comfortable. And then once you've settled in, go ahead and close your eyes. And just relax. Finishing off our practice with a few final deep breaths. With each inhale, welcoming new, fresh energy into the body. And with each exhale, allowing any tension to melt away. Allowing your body to be supported by Mother Earth. Feeling centered, balanced, and fully grounded in this moment.
You're more than welcome to stay here for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. And on your next inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Take a big full body stretch. And exhale, bend your knees, roll over to one side. Pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. And you can keep the eyes closed here or soften your gaze. Noticing your sitting bones rooted into the mat. Feeling this beautiful line of energy from the very base of your spine all the way up through the crown of your head. Allowing yourself to settle into stillness. And quietly repeating the mantra, I am safe. I am secure. I am grounded and stable. I am safe. I am secure. I am grounded and stable. And once you're ready, bring the palms of the hands together in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Take a full deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. Taking this opportunity to bow down towards your own heart. Expressing gratitude for yourself, for your body, for carrying you through this practice. And for anything else that comes up for you in this moment. Thank you all so much for joining me in this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future classes. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for future classes, please leave them in the comments down below and I'd love to make something special just for you. If you want more yoga videos from me, go ahead, check out my membership. I post exclusive videos there a month along with longer flows and a quarterly series. So I will be doing a summer series in the month of June. So if that's something you're interested in and you want to further support me on my journey, go ahead and check that out. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support as I grow my channel. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. May you stay well and always continue to shine.